You can see it is just dropping under the waves. A pretty unique view there as it goes down. Oh, there goes another explosion. And, yep, the ship has split into two. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to try to rescue a bunch of passengers off another sinking ship. Today, I'm returning to the Yorkshire... And this is a ship that I've checked out before, and it does have a pretty interesting sinking. I won't spoil it here if you haven't seen the video, but I'll link it in the top right corner. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's hop right into it, and let's see if we can save some passengers. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so here we are on board, and the first thing that I have to do is go down below and start up the ship. Because I actually have to start up the boilers and whatnot to get it going. Luckily for this ship, it has an auto cooler, and that basically just constantly fills the fireboxes with coal. And that's good for me because that means that I don't have to constantly come back down here and fuel up the boilers or coal up the boilers. So I don't have to worry about that, and hopefully they don't explode. That would be bad, but uh, I think I've got everything set up to where it's not going to blow up. And uh, now all I have to do is get the, I think it's the turbines going. No, it's the uh, condenser pumps, and uh, yeah, I think we should be good. One other thing I'm gonna do is close the watertight doors, and uh, the reason being is I wanna keep the ship above water for as long as possible to get these passengers off, give them a better chance of surviving, and uh, same goes for me as well, I kinda wanna survive too. But the main goal is to save the passengers. So uh, yeah, as long as we can get some of those passengers off, we should be good. Now, where is the throttle for this? It should be somewhere around here. Oh, here it is. Okay, so it's on this intermediate level, and I think, yeah, this is working. Look at that. There are the reciprocating engines moving, and it's always mesmerizing to see those giant engines actually moving the ship and whatnot, but uh, there we go. All right, so I'm back up at the bridge or the wheelhouse, and we are now moving, so I'm gonna let the ship sail for a little bit longer and let it get away from any land masses or the oil rig, and then I'll activate the scuttle. Now, once that happens, it will be a race against time to get these passengers off. So, I'm debating whether or not I should swing the boats out first, or get the passengers up on deck. I'm leaning towards swinging the boats out first, because the ship may lean, or something may happen where it's unstable and I can't swing the boats out. So that's why I want to do that first before getting the passengers. Now you may have noticed walking around, you'll see these NPCs are wearing some interesting outfits, some festive outfits. And the reason why that is, is because I'm recording this during the holiday season, or well, just December. So Stormworks does this annual update where they just add some cosmetic changes. And it uh, looks like the NPCs have their uh, festive outfits going on, and I think I can make this even more festive. All right, so we got some snow, so now this is gonna be somewhat of a festive sinking at this point, and uh, speaking about sinking, let's go ahead and scuttle the ship. So we're gonna unlock the sink key, or well, the button, and um, there we go. Now the countdown has begun. Oh, yep, there we go, all right. There's the uh, explosion, torpedo, or mine. And first things first, I've got to stop the ship. So, um, yeah, I don't know if this is actually directly linking to the engine room, but uh, let's take a look. It does look like we're slowing down. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, we are stopped. So, now it's time to get these boats off. It is super, super simple. It's just one key press, and there we are. So the boats are swung out on that side, and let's go to this side. There we are, and uh, just super easy, which is uh, awesome because it makes things really fast and efficient. So now, we gotta get these passengers off, so we'll start with you, sir. Please, get into the boat. Now we have lots of seats on the boats, so we shouldn't have to worry about uh, the lack of space. And uh, yeah, let's uh, just start grabbing people left and right here. I'm actually just gonna ask them to follow me. So um, here we go. Let's open up these cabins. Yes, please, come with me. The ship is uh, not doing so well. All right, so I've got a group of passengers with me. Let's go this way, and then let's go up the stairs. Let's make sure they're actually following me. Yep, there we go. All right, let's go up the stairs. Welcome to the boat deck. All right, time to get into the boats. Uh-oh. Whoa, that would have been bad. Uh-oh. 
Well then, that, um, that was a catastrophic failure. Well, at least they're off the ship. That's, uh, what matters, I guess. So, um, there we are. And, um, yeah. Let's, uh, just never let that happen again. Oh, one thing I do have to worry about is those boilers. They may explode, so I may have to shut those off at some point. Alright, I'm going from room to room searching for anybody in their cabins. So far, so good. I don't see anybody. That's good. Oh, there's somebody. Let's go ahead and get them. Yes, please, come with me. I'll check these cabins as well. Alright, that's good. Alright, that's good. Okay, we're good here. Alright, we're gonna just put these people in this boat. So there we go. Oh! Unfortunately, we have lost two people into the water. But, they're swimming. That's good. They've got winter clothing on. So they should last about 15-ish minutes in the freezing cold water. Um, I could go down there and put them into the boat, but I'm pretty sure the boat may capsize as soon as I put it in the water. Not sure, but, um, from what I know from Stormworks Physics, that's usually what happens. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep putting these, uh, passengers into the boats. And, uh, I gotta keep reminding myself not to keep them following me when I jump into the boat, because they're gonna overshoot it or undershoot it and, uh, well, plummet into the ocean. So, uh, yeah. Yikes, I haven't even checked the lower decks yet. I mean, I've gone through the superstructure and that's all good, but none of the lower decks have been checked yet. So, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yep. I just did that. So, um, yeah, you know what? I think if that boat is stable in the water, I will move these passengers into that boat. That's what I'll do. All right. So we're lowering down into the water here. So we're passing the gangway doors. I actually want to open those up. So there's no water. That's always good. And I think, yep, there we go, I'll release that there, and uh-oh, that's not good. Alright, just gotta release that there. Okay, so the boat seems pretty stable, so I'll move some of these passengers in. Alright, so they're in a boat now, I'm gonna go over to the other side, lower a boat, and get those other people that are in the water into that boat, so they're not freezing to death. Luckily, the ship is actually going down pretty slowly, so I do have a little more time than I anticipated. I thought it was gonna go down super quick. But, luckily, it's holding its all right now. Alright, so we're lowering away here, and uh, I do see those people in the water. There's only two, so we just gotta grab them, get them into this boat, and then we should be good. Alright, there we go. Just get them into the boat. And make sure they're sitting down, obviously. Whoa! And there we are. Perfect. Alright, so at this point, I'm gonna go down below, and I'm gonna see if I can find anybody right now. Luckily, there's no water in the engine room. That's always good to see, but we need to go into the passenger areas. Alright, so let's go this way. And... There we are. Oh, hello! Well, there's somebody. I'll just grab them. And, uh, let's check in here. Oh, alright, we got two people. I'll have them follow me. And I think that should be good for now. I'll go back up. Oh, there's another person. Wow. Okay. So, let us go this way. I mean, actually, hold on. This may be an interesting idea. Well, this boat's got room. Might as well put them in here. I'm glad those shell doors, or the gangway doors there, actually came in handy. Of course, I'm not going to leave them open, because that would just bring the ship down very quickly. So yeah, I'll close those as soon as I get back to them, which will be right now. There we go. Whoa. Alright. Let's close those, and let's keep going. Alright, there's somebody here. I'm gonna grab them. Let's go this way. I am starting to notice the ship is starting to list a lot more now. And obviously that's not good. But it does mean that time is starting to run out. So I've got to get a move on. Now I think this might be my last chance to use one of these boats. Because you can see the ship is starting to list over to the port side. Which means lowering these boats here will be especially difficult because they'll bump along the hull. And at this point, it's not too bad, but I can definitely see it getting worse. So let's just keep putting these people into the boats. Alright, that should be good. And let's lower away. Alright, there we are. I'll hop into the boat. And I will cut it free. Yeah, you can see we're starting to bump along the hull here, which is not good. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. That's actually pretty bad. That's not going to be good for lowering those boats over there, if we can actually lower them. So, let me go ahead and release this boat. Oh, hello, sir. Well, 
Your boat hasn't been lowered yet. I've got to go find some more people. So I'll go down forward in the bow. Oh. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. I may have to go over this side. And I'll have to seal the door behind me. Hopefully I can get across to the stern of the ship because by the time I get back up, I think this will be underwater. I mean, not the interior, but above us on the deck. So let's look around. Oh, yep. There's somebody. Hello. Let's grab them. Actually, I'll just pick them up because that's easier. There we are. Let's uh, just search the cabins. We'll throw open the doors and see if we find anybody. And yeah, it doesn't look like there's anybody around here. Oh, hello. Well, I found the water. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, nope, nope. I gotta move quick. So that is where the flooding is. I am gonna seal that door. That is not good. All right, nothing in steerage forward. I know that there was a couple of people back at the stern. We got them. Just checking all the cabins, making sure that everyone is out. All right, we'll cross over to the other side. Oh my gosh, there's the lifeboat. Okay. Oh, hello. Let's grab this person. Let's go aft again, because I think that's sort of the safest place to go at this stage. All right, here's the stairs. Let's go up. We are going to a lifeboat. Don't worry, we will be saved. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Looks like the bow is pretty seriously flooded at this stage. Yep, I do see water on the folks. All. Yep, look at that. Not good. All right, so over here, this is their boat. Because we've already got one person in the boat. So I'm going to stop them from following me, just in case. I'm going to grab this person, jump on in. Oh, overshot that one. Okay, I'll just leave them in the water, lower it down, and put them in once I get the boat in the water. All right, here we go. There we are. All right, I'm going to lower this down and grab that other person, and we should be good. I'm actually just going to jump in the water here. Grab them and jump into the boat. All right, here we go. There we are. All right, I'm going to cut it free pretty quickly. I'm actually just going to put that person down. There we go. And cut that one free. All right, that's good. Now I'm going to do one more check down below. And if there's nobody left, I'm just going to go back up and get off the ship myself. And we'll watch it go down. All right, I haven't checked back here yet. Let's take a look. Nope. It's all good for now. I mean, eventually this will all be on the bottom of the ocean, which is not good. But as long as we have everybody off the ship, then I am fine with that. So, oh my gosh, yeah. Look at this as we slowly descend into the water. Oh, that one's creepy. Look at that. Uh oh, I see water glitching through. That's not good. So we checked all these areas. Now we are far underwater at this stage. All right, I'm going to work my way aft. I'm going to check the cabins in the aft part of the ship. Then I'm going to go down below and shut off the boilers because they've been running for a while and I do not want them exploding. Obviously nothing in the engineering spaces. How about the galley? Let's take a look. Anybody in the refrigerator? Nope. Uh-oh. That is really bad. Okay, we need to shut the boilers off right now. We need to go. All right, here we are. We are in the engine room, and I am going to have to open up the watertight doors to get through. So, you know what? Here we go. So, I'm just opening up the emergency release valves at this stage. That should empty out all the steam. There we go. Quickly do that. Oh, there's the water. All right, seal that. All right, we got to go now. All right, here we go. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the water is on the boat deck. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's the steam releasing. So let's go ahead and let's lower this boat. And I will just hop into the sea here and we will just sail away. All right, there we are. All right, let's go. Let's uh, get this thing moving. So as you can see, the propellers are out of the water. The bridge or the wheelhouse is going under. And yeah, there's water flooding in. And, you know, it's okay at this stage because... Oh... Well, apparently it's not okay for the ship because a boiler just exploded. Yep, this is it. This is the catastrophic end for the ship here. You can see it is just dropping under the waves. A pretty unique view there as it goes down. Oh, there goes another explosion. And yep, the ship has split into two. Wow. And what's interesting is we don't actually get to see the split. It happened underwater. And you can see the bow is now pulling the stern vertical. And it's going down. 
Oh, and there's another explosion. Oh, it's separated. Wow. That was really cool. Yep, it is going vertical. Let's hope it doesn't catch any of these boats on the way down. Okay, thank God it didn't. But there it goes. The Yorkshire is going to the bottom. And that is it. So as far as I'm aware, it looks like everyone has survived, which is awesome. So I've learned two things. One, close all the watertight doors. Actually, that's sort of self-explanatory. And two, have a plan. So prepare for an emergency evacuation. What are you going to do first? Are you going to get the boats out? Are you going to get the people off the ship first? What are you going to do? How are you going to solve the issue, in this case, getting the passengers off the ship without them drowning? So, yeah, luckily that all worked out. This was a pretty successful evacuation, and we got to see the ship go down without dying. So that is always awesome. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.